What's up, YouTube? This is Bison the X Seventy Nine, guys. Today I'm coming to my latest Dick Clipout video for the August 2020 format. And guys, today I'm going to be looking at my updated Machina deck profile. Now the Machinas, they're actually in a pretty interesting position because they just got a brand new structure deck this year, and it expanded on the R type a whole lot. And been playing around with this particular deck build. And, to be very honest, this deck works pretty damn well. It can get it, you deeper into the deck, as well as be able to load the graveyard so you can actually be able to do a lot of different plays. It can extend into the extra deck really well, and you have a lot of different OTK options to basically mess with your opponents. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into this deck. Alright, of course... We're going to talk about three copies of the Machina Citadel. This is the brand new Machina boss monster of the entire art type. If this card's in your graveyard and one of your machine monsters were destroyed by Battle of Artifact, it brings itself out onto the field. And it has a 3k body, which means your opponents can be pretty hard pressed to do to deal with it. Not only that, it also has a quick effect where it can basically allow you to destroy one of the other cards you control on the field. And then you're basically getting a uh, Raigeki on the on the board, destroying all the monsters that your opponent controls that has less than or equal to the monster that you destroyed with this card's attack. So, yeah. It can really ruin your opponent's plan. We got two copies of Machina Metal Cruncher. Metal Cruncher is... the level 9 monster. On summon, you can actually reveal three Earth... Attribute machine type monsters from your deck. Opponent chooses one at random to add to your hand. That lets you shuffle back in your deck. And from there, you can just do your regular plays. This card is a godsend for the machine. It is basically a, another Stratos card. And it searches out any Earth Machine monsters in your deck. So you can literally take in other Earth Machine monsters like the Scraps or Trains to really help this deck get going and do other things. If you don't like particular cards in this build. Moving forward, we got three copies of Machina Irradiator. Okay, Irradiator. One of the brand new cards out of the structure deck. You discard a Machina card from your hand to the graveyard, especially some of this guy out. While on the field, you could target a Machine Monster you control, destroy that, and then basically you're allowed to special summon from your graveyard a monster with a different name, but with a level equal to or lower than that monster. So that's actually pretty awesome. This deck is pretty heavy on getting stuff into the graveyard and it's easy to get off. So definitely worth having in this deck. Two copies of Machina Aerator. Aerator has the same special summon ability as a Radiator. Basically you're pitching a card, special summoning onto the field. Also has a similar effect to a Radiator. Uh, in which you pop one of your own monsters, but instead you're doing this on your opponent's turn as a quick effect and special summoning from the deck. It's the same level of restriction applies though. Um, I find that myself that I'm relying a lot more on a radiator effect more often than relying on air raider, so that's the primary reason why I'm only running two of him. Two copies of Machina. Megaform, Megaform, if you get him on the field, you, he can tribute himself off and basically special summon out another Machina monster right from your deck to your field. Typically, you utilize this guide to bring out Metal Cruncher to basically get into your scrap engine to basically continue your plays. Three copies of Machina Gearframe. Machina Gearframe is a bit of, of a Stratos for the Machina archetype. On normal summon, you're searching your deck for another Machina card or Machina monster to add from your deck to your hand. Very awesome card. It can equip itself to other Machina monsters that you control to basically make them immune from being destroyed by battle or card effects. And it's actually pretty awesome. Two copies of Machina Possessed Storage. Now you could turn around and possibly say. Maybe drop this card to one, maybe play one more Savager. I'm finding more and more, I'm liking two copies of Possessed Storage um, in my deck more often than having the uh, Savager. 
Possess storage on summon allows you to bring back a Machina monster from your graveyard back onto the field in defense position and you can't activate the monster's effect but hey getting an additional body on the board just allows you to do a few more things. It pretty much turns on uh, effects for Air Raider or even a Radiator Citadel as well so pretty cool. You could also target one card other card on your field and one spell and trap card that your opponent controls and you return them both to your hands. So you can help clear out your back your opponent's back row and that's the primary reason why I'm actually liking this card a bit more at two because you get that little more uh, back row interference from this card. Okay we got the scrap engine in this deck so we're running three copies of this recycler and one copy of golem. Uh, you saw in the intro warburns in the Extra Recycler on Summon allows you to basically send a Machine Monster from your deck to your graveyard, helping thin out your deck and setting up your future plays. Th that effect is not a hard once per turn, so you can utilize it multiple times during a turn, especially when you're utilizing the engine. Scrap Golem typically is brought out with Warren's effect, and then you can use its effect to bring back Scrap Recycler. So in theory, you could actually bring out at least... Scrap Recycler at least three times and potentially dump up to at least three cards into your graveyard during a single engine play. So that's actually pretty awesome. Typically we like to keep Golem on the field to keep bringing Recycler back so you have that ability to thin out your deck even further. Furthermore, any two level four Earth Machine monsters can be sh shuffled back into your deck and you can draw a card. Typically you're not going to be um, relying on that effect much since the only two Earth Machine that level four in this deck are the gear frames, but still, it's nice to have if you have a couple of gear frames in your deck ready to go. Some extenders, well, one extender, gives me um, Orochi uh, banish eight cards and you special summon him from the hand to your graveyard. It's a quick effect, which is just huge. Has another effect where you can just take any three cards from your extra deck, banish them, and pop off one of your opponent's cards. It's a level 8, and since there are a lot of level 8 monsters, it's just a natural fit, so you can go into some rank 8 plays. Or get additional attack points on the board. To interfere with your opponent, we got three copies of Ash Blossom. Pretty standard. This deck does not like being hand trapped, and the first spell is going to be three copies of Call by the ha Haunted. Or Call by the Grave, excuse me. Excuse me. Call by the Grave shuts down your, your opponent's hand traps and just allows you to get your plays going a little bit better. It can also be used defensively against other cards that your might, opponent might be utilizing, so definitely something that you want to have at least three of in your deck. Three copies of Machina Redeployment. This is such an amazing Rota spell for the Machina R-Type. Basically, you're either pitching any card to the graveyard to search your deck for any two Machina cards with different names, or you can discard a Machina card and search out any two Machina cards and add them to your hand. So this is just awesome. It allows you to get into your other um, Machina cards in this deck. So it's just a great card overall. Got one copy of Monster Reborn. I think that's pretty self-explanatory on what it does. And because there are like eight level eights in this deck, three copies of trade-in is a must in this deck. Um, when I initially encountered this deck, the deck didn't have any draw power, and I was having a very hard time getting this deck started. Once I put trade-in into this deck, I was able to get stuff into the graveyard and draw into more of my cards to see more of my plays. And it just helped the deck get going a lot better, and that's the primary reason why I love running this card in this deck. We also have two copies of Urgent Schedule. Great for going second. If your opponent controls more monsters, and then you can just activate the card, get a level four or lower Earth Machine monster onto the field, get a level five or higher Earth Machine monster on the field. From there, you can just do other plays. And the round of the main deck, we got three copies of Infinite and the Permanence. That's it. For the main, we go to the extra. Scrapper, pretty key uh, link monster in this deck. Basically, you use any machine monster plus a scrap monster to get it out. It brings back scrap recycler out of your graveyard, and then it basically pops one card you control. Typically, you want to be popping your recycler, and then when, when that happens, you bring out golem. Golem can then 
basically bring back Recycler, and from there, you can dump a lot more cards into your graveyard. So this definitely keeps the engine going as long as you have it. I'm also running one copy of IP Mascarena. I just find having her in the deck allows you to go into different link plays, and it protects those link monsters from being destroyed by a bonus card effect. So she's definitely worth having in here. Nightmares, one unicorn, one phoenix, back row, and this spins off any card back to your opponent's deck. We got one copy of Boral Sword. This is basically if you climb in, like climb into this card, utilizing something like IP Masquerade. Yes, you're going to be able to get a pretty very nasty monster on the board that can OTK your opponent, and it's definitely worth having in this deck just for that extra option. Now for the Anti Doug Magnica section of the extra deck. Uh, one Nova, one Nist, and one Invoke Megaba. Basically, whenever Doug Magnica and Maximus acts, activates the effect, you're choosing the cards out of the extra deck to send to the graveyard. So basically, you can send a Nova and Nist. Nist will pop something off their field. Nova, when it's sent to the graveyard, will allow you to get Megaba onto the field. And Megaba is a level 9 machine monster. That also gives you a negate, so you get that extra level of protection and being able to extend into rank 9 plays as well if you want to go that far. Any two rank 4s can fit in the stick. I like running Tornado Dragon and Abyss Dweller, primarily for back row as well as disrupting the greater plays. You can fit in any other rank 4s that you feel necessary in this deck. For rank 8, Harp, Hobunger, Titanic Galaxy, and Dengirsu, uh, they're both pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can get problematic monsters on the, off the board and protect your monsters. This card can basically negate spells and redirect attacks to itself. So, yeah, both great cards to have in this deck. True King of All Calamities. That's a must in this deck. Get two level nines on the field. Boom. You shut down your opponent's monster effects really easy. And then for the rank 10 package... One copy of Rail Cannon and Gustav's Matt to burn for 2,000 and then you overlay into Lieb and Lieb can basically just start swinging with 6k attack on, at your opponent's monsters and they're going to be pretty hard pressed to beat it back then. Guys, that is it for my machine deck for the August 28th, 20th for my guys i really do hope you enjoy this deck if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more content like this on my channel make sure to subscribe and leave a notification so you don't miss any uploads check out the description box below find the links to my affiliates tcgplayer.com and sidekversus.com great resources for any Yu-Gi-Oh player follow me on social media twitter and reddit and if you guys want to help grow my community the invite link to my discord server is down in the description box below Join the conversation. We'll love to have you. As always, guys, until next time, peace.